Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. And we're coming at you from right here at Rajapakti Park on Sarin Beach, where they've officially dedicated the park and in honor of the King of Thailand. More on that a little later. I'm JP Masanta. Today marks the 70th anniversary of His Majesty the King of Thailand's ascension to the throne. Ceremonies around the country are taking place to honor the King of Thailand as well as the sixth birth cycle of the Queen of Thailand as she turns 84 on August 12th, which is a big deal in the Thai Buddhism calendar. US President Barack Obama and UK's Queen Elizabeth are among the many dignitaries around the world who have sent their congratulatory messages to King Rama 9 on this auspicious day. In addition, today we'll also see the new 70 baht notes available for public consumption. You can pick up yours at any bank and post office. The ceremony is set to take place here at Surin Beach. More on that a little later. And 18 people remain in the hospital following yesterday afternoon's deadly speedboat collision between Ko Dok Mai and Ko Pi Pi in the waters east of Phuket. The collision claimed the life of two Chinese tourists and the Phuket News reports that the two speedboats had been carrying a combined 50 Chinese and Korean tourists. The incident happened at noon yesterday and leaving one man and one woman to have died at the scene as dozens of others were sent to hospitals around Phuket Town and Rasada for treatment. An investigation is currently underway. And a breaking story out of Junk Salong as the biggest shopping mall in Patong has certain parts of it closed because pylons underneath the mall have collapsed. An investigation into what happened is currently underway at Junk Salong and the mall authorities have already closed off certain sections of the mall, but it's still open for business in a lot of other areas. The Port Arena outdoor area is closed, as is the underground That Siam retail shopping area near the car park. For more on this story, visit thepuketnews.com. Police in Bangkok are sorting through a list of bribes that were paid to authorities after yesterday's raid on a brothel that hired underage girls and sex trafficking victims. Over 100 officers were part of the raid at the massive Natari Entertainment Complex at Rachada in Bangkok yesterday afternoon, detaining 121 female sex workers. At least three underage girls were found and police believe dozens more are minors. Meanwhile, officials also discovered a detailed record of kickbacks with names of police, immigration, and tourism officers who were paid by the brothel to look the other way. Look at your bikini, it's fabulous. Where did you get it? At the extreme bikini sale at Kanda Beach Life. And the latest wrinkle in the saga of Thailand's revered monk Pradamajayo has many wondering if the Department of Special Investigation will ever get a chance to move along with their money laundering probe. The Medical Council of Thailand was set to do a health check of the abbot yesterday, but it was canceled after Wat Damakaya Temple asked for an indefinite postponement. Pradamajayo is charged with money laundering and receiving stolen goods of up to 1.2 billion baht in connection with the credit union scheme but he so far failed to show up to several hearings, citing health problems. And finally, Rajapakti Park on Surin Beach was officially opened and dedicated early today in honor of their majesties, King Bumibo Adulyade and Her Majesty, the Queen of Thailand. The Royal Thai Army Commanding Officer for all of Southern Thailand, Lieutenant General Rewat, was on hand to lead the ceremony today, along with Governor of Phuket. The Surin Beach Rajapakti Park features a sailboat museum, an exhibition hall displaying statues of all Thailand kings and highlights of projects by His Majesty the King, in addition to a botanical garden. Hundreds of kids came out for the celebrations out here today on this auspicious occasion. Today's official reopening of Surin Beach comes after the mass demolition of beachfront businesses along the sand on April 20th after years of wrangling. And well, that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. Join us again tomorrow 
Until then, stay classy, Phuket. The Hyatt Place Phuket Batong, overlooking Batong Beach. Catch the sunset from your own private balcony. Hyatt Place, the right place for you.